If you don't fake it, then we're cool. If you don't fake it, then we're cool. If you don't fake it, then we're cool. If you don't fake it, then you're cool. Now everything is already in the place. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Can I do my, my question? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 no, but I mean, it's yours. Uh, <laughs> your, your traditional food is, is like fast food? Well, the great American tradition. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, like... Uh, no, I don't know. It might be. I, I don't know. I would yes, because it. it's like a, a hot dogs or hamburgers exactly, or, yeah. or pizzas. Or well, I mean, every country seems to have street food. Yeah. Uh, or so it seems. No, yes, but uh, uh, like uh, we have some pancake. very traditional thing that we cook every day in our house mm -hmm. that's not so uh, have metal like uh, you guys have here. Yeah, yeah. Like our burgers, burgers. Uh, mozzarella sticks, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> deep dish pizza. Like we eat every day, like a uh, white rice mm -hmm. with uh, brown beans, mm -hmm. everything hot, uh, and grilled chicken uh, with some salad. Mm -hmm. But that's a very regular food, like. Uh, mm -hmm. Not to like industrial or with a lot of sauces that you like a lot here. Yeah, I know all the flavors of it. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like, like it. The, I like it the first, but then I get a little bit lost uh, with. Uh, uh, it's a little. Have you tried all of them? Any of oh them? Oh my god! <laughs> McDonald's is your favorite, isn't it? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, I haven't had McDonald's mm -hmm. in. No, a very long time. No, I'm. I am not. Much I, mean, of a I was fast tempted food. very recently. Uh, I mean, I'm a Taco Bell go-to kind of guy. When I get the fast food craving, I tend to go to Taco Bell oh, because wow. then I can still get a vegetarian thing. And it's like I'm not a vegetarian, but mm -hmm. that feels somewhat healthier to eat beans instead of like yeah, yeah. Like tortured, <laughs> tortured meat. Do you think so? Or potentially not real meat. Mm. The McDonald's yes. pink goo. What's do you, did you eat any fast food while you've been here? You know? No, I don't think so. No? Do you want to? I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course I can eat. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if I eat these kind of things, I, I, I have to sleep like uh, ten minutes later. It's oh, okay. I, guess. I understand. I have like a, a, a high how's the word? Uh, Metabolism. No no glycemia. Listen, oh, okay. Uh, oh. Hyperglycemic. Or yes, if I eat something like that, that is hypersaturated of okay. uh, whatever. Yes. yes. So mm -hmm. that me a little bit lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so, uh, how are your genes? What do you think as far as the future goes? Do you think you have uh, any chance of like diabetes or anything? Do you, what's your family like? Oh, they. Uh, they they get problems with heart, just that. Heart? So yes, every everyone is like a very drama queen. So <laughs> we get too That's emotional. Funny. Our you know? hearts, <laughs> yes. uh, they're just <laughs> too big. <laughs> he pump it too much, and I can uh, can control. You know, I, I I need a bigger chest to <laughs> to live. So it's difficult. Uh, but. Uh, I think it's just heart attack <laughs> or this kind of things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a weird thing to think, maybe. Uh, oh my god. Totally. I know my family has a bit of that same issue too. Yes? Yeah. And again, it is a little bit of the drama too. Everyone likes to create their own and it just <laughs> escalates. That's fun. Oh, it's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I was uh, I was here in podcast sometime uh, some while ago, and that was with a guy called George Monbiot. Uh, he was a French research journalist, and uh, I, I think I told you uh, just uh, 
Perfect. And uh, he was talking that uh, the organic food is not food that uh, it will we all oh, this is for everyone now we have organic food mm -hmm. it's like a, a, a crazy dream, dream that we have because mm -hmm. uh there's too much people and the system of organic is is, is not for too too many no not sustainable yes yes exactly so it's crazy how people think oh it's very sustainable because it's organic and it's totally opposite mm -hmm. it's it's just a weird uh, uh, rich dream maybe yeah, it's it's strange. I was thinking about it not too long ago too, about like the the craziness of like all the the hoops that people have to go through to even like make food organic uh -huh. versus like all the stuff that is just released out into the world because you, know, you know it has all these pesticides and yes. um stuff that the animals are being fed, then that goes into the food as well and so like organic food has to go through all these like different like tests and like research to actually make it organic. Mm -hmm. and it's like that that expense is hard to sustain. Yes, yes. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It sucks. It sucks. You wish you could just make it easier so that people can, but I do not have an answer for that. The, this guy he said that uh, the future and he was very like. Uh, uh, for the environment and everything else, but uh, he was telling that uh, uh, it's a paradox. But the future is uh, industrial food, but in in a good way. Like uh, they they do some researches with mushrooms and this kind of things that you can cook, uh, 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 grow up very fast mm -hmm, cool. and have protein on it and and, and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but but. It's it's not so uh, how's the word uh, the people are not engaged right now because sure. looks bad uh, right. eat industrial whatever mm -hmm. so the lobby is not oh I'm so natural I I won't eat industrial things so ah okay so everyone has to die starving because you just eat organic <laughs> that's doesn't make any yeah. sense to me whatever's easiest yes. Mm -hmm. So it's it's, dif it's difficult to to understand that, mm. and I try to eat organic since I see some birds falling to death when they are flying uh, uh, close to to a camp of a field of rice. Yeah, that mm. uh, that was not too nice. Yeah, that's wild. Yes, they put poison like two weeks before, and even that the the, the birds are like. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've been trying to eat organic the last couple of years. Yep. Uh, and it's been like such a slow transition into that, but with more research and time and, and like hearing of like horror stories of stuff that's happened, people like having chemicals in the food and stuff. And, yes. And even just reading like all the little labels yes. like in the fine print of all of it, it's like Oh, I don't. I can't go back. It's like once you learn it, it's like you can't unlearn it too. Fair enough. It's so weird, man. Yeah. Yes, we have. A, we need a. We need a subject that's more uh, brighter. You see? Sure. Well, no, I don't think so. I think it's very important to feel <laughs> yeah. depressed. It's good to start from the, the floor uh, with our moods, probably. Yeah. 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 May as well have been sitting on the floor first and then crawled up into the chair and. Sure. Could have been fine. <laughs> I think uh, what's a more fun subject to talk about? Um, mass incarceration? <laughs> not, yeah, that's, that's no, I think um, uh, we could talk about. Let's talk about the weather. Oh, no. I like to talk about no, that. No, I don't like to talk. About that. <laughs> ah, come on, it's you a, have you, small small talk is important too. You see, it, because it leads to large talk. No, no, because it, it, it's just uh, uh, about uh, <laughs> uh, uh, have a nice time together. That's fine. <laughs> yes. Yes, this show is about having a nice time. So this is it. You're right. Yes. All right, so that weather today, boy, it's sure Oh my nice God, that was without yeah, jacket. No so jacket, nice. just walking, getting nice sun on my skin. I can't that was a good feeling today when I yes, did get that vitamin D. 
I see you are glowing. Yeah, That's I feel word. like that. Yes. It's like uh, the, the move with the vampire that people shine yeah. when they're in the sun. That's, it might be the big spotlight on my face. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. Oh, man. Yeah, now you wish you'd come back to the US in the summer. Yeah. Yeah, that would be the time. Totally different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, this, this summer was pretty fantastic, but way different from like previous years. And usually we have like really, really hot summers. This one was just like kind of windy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mid seventies, we only had a couple of times where it was like can't even walk outside. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So tonight, what is our plan? We're we're gonna do Halloween things, right? Yeah, I found another party. I found another thing, and uh, my friend is having a concert, and mm. he's the singer for the band Yoko and the Onos. <laughs> he was on the show. He was yeah. on an episode That's with Pri uh, Jane Princess Etch, <laughs> and um, that was a fun episode. But they have a show tonight. Uh, pretty powerful voice. Great. <laughs> what kind of uh, music? Uh, rock, and then kind of like uh, just general rock, I want to say. Um, so it's not, but he's he's got a more, he's just got a big voice. So it's like uh, he could, you know, be operatic if he wanted to be, and he just oh, kind of takes nice. it to this like, dramatic almost like Amy Winehouse zone or something like that, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's great. How do you meet him? Uh, I think I just ran into a concert one day uh, and heard the voice and I thought, this is crazy. Or actually, I think Max goes by they, them. So, yeah, but I think that there's there's no like problem uh, mm -hmm. as I've talked to him, if you... If you like, that's just prefer it's, it's not like a you misgendered me it's not, he's not he understands human yep. folly <laughs> <laughs> i got you <laughs> or <laughs> you get the picture yes, yes. <laughs> uh so um that's one thing you know that's earlier okay. and then we could do the goth party a little later on great oh, oh. Mm -hmm. great of course. And we, what time uh, it will happen, these things? The goth party doesn't begin until 10.30. Yeah, that one was so, the one. you know, if something else opens up, another door opens up and we go and do that, okay. we're not obligated to do that at all. But if we feel yeah. like doing that at that time... Then yeah, yeah, sure. I feel like, like we were a little excited about it, talking about it. So, that's... That could be fun. Brought the vampire teeth. True. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, no one had costumes last night. That was kind of a relief at the opening. Yeah. Yeah, there there were a couple of people that seemed like they just, you know, they went a little stylized, but that was about it. it was, yeah, right. It was cool, just everyone having a great time. Pretty, not not too formal at all. It was just everyone shooting the shit. Mm -hmm. so, I agree. Right. I agree. All right. So, all right, let's talk a little bit about Traffic. <laughs> oh my. That's, that's a difficult. Uh, uh, you, no, situation. your drive here, Trevor, was five hours long. Mm -hmm. What kind of things did you encounter, not traffic wise, but like what, what, what do you actually enjoy about that drive? What, what's that like? Um, is it, is it super rural, farmy on the, on the way, or is oh, it yeah. just highway? Like, it's, it's a definite mix. I mean, I, I drive through Madison, yeah, um, briefly, which is. For, for a moment, just a little bit of a city um, city hint, but yeah, it's it's mostly just farmland, just rolling hills, um, much better than some of the highways in like northern Wisconsin where it's just total flatland in spots. Yeah, which, yeah, okay. yeah, you're just seeing the same thing for a while. Right. Um, Nebraska is like that. It's the most boring. I've never been to Nebraska. Which is a boring state to drive through. <laughs> I've never been to it. Yeah. I've been through it several times. Yeah. Just, to go where? Uh, road trips from California or to Colorado. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah, very boring state to drive through. Colorado seems to be a very nice place to... It's yes. exceptional. Yes. The beauty is so good. My oh. brother lives there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's really really beautiful state just mm -hmm. seeing like especially Denver okay like 
the city like right into the mountains in a way. Oh. It reminds me because I I've only been there once, um, just visiting my brother mm -hmm. not too long ago, um, and yeah, it reminded me of Milwaukee a little bit. Um, you know, South Wisconsin area. Um, yeah, just Milwaukee and the mountains. Nice. Yeah, their weather is very interesting too. <laughs> right. Too cold. No, no, oh, not, not too Kind bad. of varies across the state. Yeah. yeah. Similar to California in that way, I think. Yeah. Well, and just the type of land around Colorado is really different, too. There's, like, a desert and, like, what, the southern, mm -hmm. southwest portion. But, Truth. Yeah. It's nice. beautiful. I highly, highly yeah. recommend to go check it yes, out. Yes, I'll think about that. Yeah, go skiing. <laughs> I don't know if that's my thing I have to say. I don't think I, I've never been skiing. I just don't imagine myself enjoying it. Uh, well, I, I'm sure I would enjoy it. I like the feeling of like adrenaline. Of course, it's not like it, that's, a, yeah, I, it's fun. Mm -hmm. I see you like but, snowboarding, not to But skiing. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I would do that either. I think that they just. <laughs> Come on, who well, knows? I, I could. They're both pretty nice. I'm, I'm open to doing that. Yes. Uh, it's not like I'm I'm shutting it out completely. I won't close the door on snow sports. <laughs> I'm glad to to hear it. Thanks for helping to convince me. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh what's your favorite thing about the show last night? What was your favorite interaction or most memorable? Please. Oh my god. There were there were a lot of it, like really just surreal moments. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, one of my coworkers showed up. Cool. Um, I don't know the show was my one of my bosses actually, who was he's from Ohio. Oh so my he, he drove from Ohio to come to this. And that's that, just amazing. Yeah. Wow, that is a big deal. Yeah, that was that was very humbling. Jeez. Yeah, I completely unexpected. I just saw him turn the corner and it's like, oh my god, that's that's cool. pretty cool. <laughs> he's someone that I just I didn't think really cared as well. Mm -hmm. Just like from an outside perspective, and, yeah. You know, when you're in your head all the time, you don't realize like what, how people care too. So That's all right. right. Yeah, so it was really cool. And then um, my cousin came as well with his wife, and they're both in their early forties, and they're just they just told me last night that they're having a baby too. So <laughs> that was like, it was like, oh my god, it's amazing. In like five months. Five, they're already five months. Oh, it's it. a lot. Yeah, yes. yeah. So they're they're well into it, but it's they kind of kept it secret because of you know not sure if the baby. Would yes, in the first yeah, two months. Common, yes, the first two that. months are very uh, dangerous. They say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was that was really amazing. Really Great. loved it. Got to see a lot of really cool people. Meet a lot of really really interesting characters. Uh, I agree. Uh, I agree. How about you? Uh, I I I'm, was very impressed by how big was the range of people because oh, they they are not kind, similar yeah. Yeah. at all yeah. and it was a big surprise to me because there's a lot of there's some fancy people some hipster people some sure. yeah. classy people mm -hmm. uh, it it was a great blend because yeah, it's really nice I think that what uh, uh, visual art. Uh, can do for us like this kind of connection mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like uh, people that are very different uh, get engaged by the same yeah. thing beauty mm -hmm. and and that's quite nice I think yeah, it's, nice. it's really wonderful to see just such a huge mix of people yes I agree and Penny was so nice I, I like the girl a lot yes she was very kind and funny <laughs> oh, Penny's wonderful. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to work for, with her forever. She just so, so Yes, nice. I like her a lot too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her friends are quite nice too. Absolutely. Yes? Yeah, <laughs> they want to be on the show too. So I, oh, I yeah. connected with a couple Oh, of that's people. perfect. Yeah. yeah. And I like it a lot because every single one was totally different than another. Yeah. And I think, how? This is like Ono, you know, Ono. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, it was crazy. <laughs> yes. It's like United Nations together. <laughs> I was quite surprised. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, how about for you, Adam? Uh, I thought it was fun to see uh, what was Chris. I want to say Kozlowski is his last name. I'm just kind of bad with the 
the name sometimes, but uh, he was this. He was my anatomy teacher in art school. I remember. Oh, that's uh, great. And I just remember the lessons, uh, and I remember you know how generous he was, mm -hmm. uh, just as a really good person. But his work over the years, you know, since since that point, has really changed into something really beautiful. He makes these trophy. He paints these trophies in this very graphical style, but they're. Um, they're very flat, but also very correct because they're so reflective. Mm -hmm. It's unusual. Uh, I, I like the way that he paints quite a bit. So mm -hmm. it was cool to see him. <coughs> uh, Victor Armanderas came, my favorite gallerist, I think, in the city for years. Uh, worked formerly for Anne Nathan and now kind of took over her gallery. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. That was a nice feeling. Great. A lot of people came to support, and it was just sort of like a, I was like a ping pong ball or like a piece of taffy just being pulled in all directions at every, all the time. And it was like, uh, it was impossible to stand still for any moment. But that's the idea. I went the outside for a breath of, the, of air and yes. six people came outside behind me to talk. That's and it was just like, <laughs> Jesus. All right. Jesus, please. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Too much love. Too much support. <laughs> don't wreck me. Don't wreck me right now. I'm yeah. smoking. See? Right. Yeah. Just, just stay away. I just don't. I can't handle any more love. It's like, yeah, <laughs> poor me. <laughs> Life is hard, so hard. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to be colder than that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's really wonderful. So that's good that I don't have the brooding personality that I like imagine that I do. Yes, you know, yes. and that's uh, We tried to say that before to you, yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, we don't insist on that, yes, you're not a believer. <laughs> <laughs> but now there's some facts to yeah, prove that. Yeah, now we know. Yes, yes. People show up. Yes, a lot. The funeral should be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. My funeral will be attended. <laughs> that's, what that, funeral. that's what they told me. That, that was my biggest takeaway last night. <laughs> Three people will come to my funeral. <laughs> you a good party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, all that support was really great. Yes. Um, it was. It was. And it was nice because it's, it was not only the sport, like, oh, I'll be here for you, but they are very engaged on the paintings. Yeah, they really Like, uh, they spend a lot of time, and, and that's not so usual anymore. And I don't think so, no. Yes. Yeah, it's more about the, the meeting people and the events. Yes, and they are, they, 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 they spend like hours here. I was so glad with that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I see it, no one goes out what time. Yeah, and it's lovely. <laughs> we yes. really created a beautiful environment. I mean, mm -hmm. Penny here was responsible for this, like the heart of the thing here yeah. in this, like the, I agree. the energy that pulled into this. I, yes. So we got the heart yes. with the back room and the front. Mm -hmm. I agree totally, mm -hmm. so great. totally. Yeah. yeah, something about uh, plant life and flowers that just kind of brings things into like a, a comfortable space. It feels almost magical. Yeah. Like these things aren't supposed to be here. What's this? <laughs> it, it's like a fairy's going to fly out of one or something like that. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool feeling. Uh, very calming. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I, I didn't think that before. Make a lot of sense. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's so cool to see people like really engaging with the work. It's yes. just walking back and yes. forth and it's just I agree. Yeah. seeing people just like look at it. And yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. So that was the last art show we're all doing. We're quitting painting. Yeah. Right? Yes, no painting more. I, I will be a dancer. I hope yeah. like, uh, with yeah. a very, uh, uh, you know, short clothes uh -huh. and this kind of things. Sure. Oh, okay. Like a hip hop nice. dancer with, or with, like a stripper? No, with oil. Oh, like okay. A, yeah, like a chip and dale, like a stripper, right? Very shiny. Yes. Huh. Okay. Will you have like a little bow tie on? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Maybe see. like in, in my right? in my in my butt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No? Okay. Okay. And nice. you know, however you yeah, make your money. Yeah, what time? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. Just make, just make that money. Yeah, the future. The future is bright. <laughs> <laughs> well. It's difficult the life in the third world, you know? Yeah, I understand that. Oh man, that's crazy. This expression, I don't understand world. that. <laughs> yeah, I know what that's like. Yeah. Oh boy. 
That third world living. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I totally God. know what you mean. Yeah. What's, <laughs> do, you, do you know what's the second word? Because we know the the first word. Uh, okay, but uh, what is the second? Yeah, yes, because know. if I live in the third, the underworld. <laughs> You just I don't skip. know. What is yeah, it? it's purgatory. Where do you skip that? Yeah, yes. who's the second one? I, th- I think that's that's it's uh, the name comes out uh, when do you have like Cold War because it was uh, 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 U.S. Okay. and and Russia and they make like a, a, a very big reunion in mm-hmm. India. Mm-hmm. And people say, okay, there's this two, and that's the third word. That's all of. Uh, the countries that are not engaged. I think it's that in, in the middle of six or something. Okay. okay. I'm feel very clever right now that I remember that from <laughs> class. Yes, I hope that's not a lie. Uh, no. <laughs> Everything you said, true. Okay, it's factual. Thanks, okay. Oh, I mean, I can be proven. <laughs> I know, I'm glad that you remember too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just create history right here. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it it's good to make it. Be more intelligent, you know, mm-hmm. to do this, to create a show that is big level. Yes, yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it will be the first show that Adam do that will have translation, like subtitles. You see, it will be amazing. Oh, no way. Can you imagine that? This one? Yes, so nice. I will not. I think the captions from this episode, the auto-generated captions on uh, YouTube, yeah. will be very funny when you speak. <laughs> <laughs> I so don't know if that's a that compliment. Part, well, I I'll mean, you have an it. accent, so I'm sure it's terrible at trying to pick up what you're saying. <laughs> so it's, a, it's so. It, I think it will be funny. You sure? Yeah. Do you think I have an accent? Uh, I don't know. It's barely there. Maybe it's like Pennsylvania. Something. Yeah, it's yeah, like um, it comes out. It, it comes out in times when you say certain words. Okay. Like all of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I, I, I created this accent, you know, because it's better to, to the mystery. Oh, you're actually from Chicago, you just live. I'm in, from, yeah. I, yes, I, I'm a very in the neighborhood. Yeah, I knew it. Nearby, so, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by my hair, maybe. Yeah, can you imitate a Chicago accent? <laughs> yes. Do you see, I, 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 I don't have my gray clothes like Chicago guys, but uh, soon I will have them. Okay. Can you do that? Can you can you imitate a Chicago accent? Um. Like, have you heard one that you can like uh, make a cliche or make a uh, stereotype? True Midwesterner. Oh my God, no. No. But can you? I mean, sure. What do they? What do we see? That bears again. Chicago hot dogs. Or like. What, what? Yes. <laughs> yeah, hot dogs. <laughs> Like what? What do we say? I mean, that's the only thing I understand that Chicago is. It means nothing to me. The city, it's like history, the entire history of it. I'm just, I don't. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't honor it at all for some reason. I like. I'm not it. interested in it for some reason. I don't know why. The architecture here is one of the most beautiful that I've ever That's seen. true. Yes, and it's very peculiar. Yeah. I think. Yes, because there is something uh, that's uh, in the neighborhood that I am in Lincoln Park that's uh, invite you a lot, mm-hmm. like the proportions they are oh, yeah. they are created for a human being. You know, that's mm-hmm. different. Sure. Uh, in Brazil, we have another proportion that's much more aggressive. Oh, sure. So this sure. is because it's to repel people because uh, you don't want people enter uh, this kind of things. And here, that's not so dangerous. People say, okay, uh, I will make uh, uh, entering that uh, you want to to come, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's a lot of difference on it. More class. Mm. Yes, you want to go, this is very true, you want to walk here. Uh, for me, it's crazy how I want to walk in the neighborhood. Uh, mm-hmm. And I, and in the most place that I am in Brazil, I just walk to, to go to some place. It's not uh, to enjoy the, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, I've been wanting to walk around the city the yeah. whole time I've been here, haven't gotten a chance to yet. Oh. I've, I've done so much when I lived here for a short time. And True. Yeah, I can inspire you. I'm Weinberger, everybody. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Please. <laughs> hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. Hey. How are you? Hey, buddy. He's Alan Weinberger. Hey, guys. How are you? Yes. I, uh, I'm very tired. Mm-hmm. Just got back from a walk. Okay. Uh-huh. Are you okay now? Yeah. You're yeah. better? Yeah. I need to get some sun. 
Yes, yeah, it's pretty sunny today. We were just yeah. talking about the weather. It was fascinating. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's a good weather to live? <laughs> no. For now, for now. <laughs> but I'm more concerned about what's that is. All right, I'll let you guys finish up. <laughs> <laughs> we go running. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see, we have special guests here. Yes. Chin Chin. A very serious guest. A very serious guest. Now I, I, I talk everything very serious something. Um, this go oh, in I my know. mind I, all the time. I'm noticing <laughs> every time I say the word very. Yeah, it's, yes. it's hilarious. <laughs> we are very, very serious, very serious friend. <laughs> <laughs> all business, all the time. Yes. <laughs> Mm. What would you name a gallery if you owned a gallery? Oh my god, that's... Oh, now that you talk that, uh, maybe I will put something here. When I said then uh, we created the Charan name, mm-hmm. I was not uh, calling uh, the name of the exhibition. I was just saying, oh, right. I do the things, Charan. <laughs> right. And then I just say, oh, this is a great name. And I say, of course I am. <laughs> Yeah. I'm good with names, you know. That's yeah. the thing I do. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes. I thought it was perfect. Yeah, it really worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. then I pick. Blew into place. Yes. <laughs> yeah, see, maybe I get it wrong. That's uh, yes, but no, that's great. It's, yes, of course it is. It's perfect. Yeah. Yes, it actually works very well. Yeah. 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 No point in overthinking it. Yes. Yeah, it's the first show that we've all done together. So. Mm-hmm. And it's more like a feeling, just a yes, yes, mm-hmm. a, a explosion of emotions. It was great. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, made all this shit, don't know what it means. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I understand people in the show because I really want to see what you are doing right now. Right. Well, that's the end. Ah. Even when we take the break, you don't get to look. Which will be hard in this environment. No, so but you can, if but you can uh, do, put to the painting like that. That's a good idea. Yes. Yeah, sure, I can do that. And very, you make me very beautiful. With you? you? Yes. No, that's the point, is that no, no yeah. one is beautiful on painting everybody. I want like a profile <laughs> hierarchy. Yeah, uh, I want to be very <laughs> Greek, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, does it work? Well, I mean, your pose is all right. You know, there's some contrapose that are going on. We can oh, get okay. all sorts of things. Nice. I like this word, contrapost. Yeah. Yes. Doesn't Wait. look English. You don't have a translation for that? No. Ah, okay. What would you just say? Like twisting and pulling? Uh, yeah. We just use contrast. Okay. Like, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Or like a kind of antagonism between angles, mm-hmm. but uh, you don't use contrapost. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, in some ways we are better than. <laughs> you have better butts. This is why you compare. <laughs> compare. I have to say that my butt's not a great deal, to be honest. That's just a bad propaganda, you know? Okay. Yes, uh, I, I tried with uh, uh, light pants, yeah. but mm. uh, still doesn't work. I see. Yes. It's unfortunate. Yes, but <laughs> do, you see, do you see Trevor walking? No, I haven't noticed. Very, this guy has I'll take a look. look. I'll take a look. Looks like a, a, a heart, but <laughs> do you know? That's yeah. very, very... Wow. Yes. Wow. Do you wow. see? Almost He's caricatured, yeah. yeah. Very good. Uh, yes, we have to, to show that for people. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll turn around for everybody. Yeah, we yes. can, we can yes. do a nice S side. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Move the camera at the end. Right? That's going to be it. Yeah. That's, the, that's the ending. <laughs> I like. I think you have something to grab the audience, you know? That's important. Yeah. Save right. the best for less. Talk, talk about a heartthrob. <laughs> <laughs> in the boy band, which characters are we? What are our personalities in, this, in our boy band? Oh my god. I am with a hair that is very boy band right yeah, now. Yeah, very. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, anyway. I don't. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if that's good. What can we call ourselves, <laughs> our boy band? Our boy band? Oh my god, that's difficult. Mm. I hardly talk, so... It's like, it's like, I mean, we could be spicy, like Spice Girls are spicy. We, we could be like... 
But boys is like is kind of uh, spice man. Spice man. <laughs> spice man. Spice, spice, <laughs> space jam. <laughs> space jam. Like mm -hmm. uh, yes, kind of nine to vibe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I pick up pick up on that. Definitely. Okay. It's more cartoonish. Yes. Yes. Okay. I like that. Did you meet uh, Matthew Jordan. Brown? Matthew Brown last night and Jason McPhillips. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> hey. It was a great night. Hey, I asked a question. Real question. What? Did you meet Matthew Brown and Jason McPhillips last night? Jason, yes. Yes. Good. Uh, you did? Or? I, I met Matthew Brown. We talked about, uh, oh, what did we talk about? Some, a really obscure film director. Yes, you two could connect on film easily, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely. It was really funny. It was who was uh, this guy? Matthew Braun. Yes. He had. Can you describe the guy? Uh, he was wearing like a. Extremely handsome tongue. face. <laughs> okay. Very uh, tight style. Oh, all dark clothing. Uh huh. Um, dark hair. His hair is kind of similar to mine a little bit. Okay. Just a little longer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like an iron heart from where Peter noticed this. Ah, <laughs> this it? I know. Yeah, see Clothing. the mystery. What is the haircut specifically? Is there a name for it? The Hitler Youth? Yeah, the Hitler Youth. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly what I say to my stylist. <laughs> Could good. you just give me, like, just look up. You don't need to do the mustache, I mean, but at least. Like, like, maybe not like a 10 Hitler Youth, maybe like a, I don't know, like a 4 Hitler Youth. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my. <laughs> I mean, look at me. It's not. I'm one to talk. <laughs> I'm uh, American History X or something. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Minus the you know. dicked. I didn't. Sh it's not like shaved. Yeah. So maybe it's like a. I used <laughs> or I'm a recovering neo-Nazi or something. Well, do, don't you remember <laughs> Brad Pitt? <laughs> oh my God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you meet Jason at all or no? He wasn't here too long. Oh, I, I thought he was. Oh, okay. Well, not, not more than a couple hours, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just abstracting time. Yeah, maybe. Everything flew by so fast. It seems... It's like seems something fast. is getting quiet and it's 11 o'clock. It like, did. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I take it back. Jason, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's very kind and clever. Yeah, yeah these, these guys I mentioned are both extremely intelligent. Yeah, <laughs> they're really nice guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Just everybody showed up. Christ. I wouldn't want to have them on the show together. No. No. I would be like, I would feel like an infant. <laughs> or like they were babysitting me. They're too smart. <laughs> it's just bad to joke because, I, I, you know. I have to separate yeah. them on the episodes. No. Yeah, you have to like. No, we have a familiarity. Like, you understand that I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Sorry. Thank I for the like compliment. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I haven't painted your head yet, so... Perfect. Just leave me headless. Okay. Oh, lower. Yeah. In light of Halloween. You know. So, you might be painting a portrait today, Bruno? I think so. Okay. Oh, sure. And yes. that's going to be someone who's came in, who came in last night and wanted uh, Maria painting. Yes, yes. He, he wants that painting, but uh, this was bought right. for another one. We should have had a bidding war. <laughs> I, told, I I said to the guy if uh, we can paint him and see how it goes and mm -hmm. if you don't like we who cares it's we just yeah you don't pick the painting yes oh, cool. so yeah. you can use my pants if you'd like oh thanks man thanks. <laughs> I don't know what else we were going to do if that wasn't the case <laughs> but uh, I'm sure there are paints here too yes Alan tell yeah. me the, there are some mm -hmm. But uh, it would be quite uh, uh, a challenge to 
I'm not get used to the painting, to the brushes, to the all the all the tools. They are sure. very different. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my kit is probably pretty similar to what you might use. What I have. My kit, my my group of brushes and things. I'm sure okay. you can find something in there. No, no, yes, but uh, the point is that I think it's nice because I I don't know. Yeah. Any of the. I like that feeling. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. It's like uh, being thrown into the ocean or something <laughs> from a speedboat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like it that. would be nice. It would be nice. What what time will they stop in it? I, I thought it was like three o'clock, but maybe I get I get it wrong. I said to Alan to 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 schedule to the guy. So yeah, yeah. yes, cool, cool, cool. It, it would be nice, I think. So I'm going to try to finish this quickly, but if it's not finished, we can just step away. Yes, yeah. I like this idea about to stop and do, and yeah, then that would be okay. Yes, yeah. Uh, this room isn't going anywhere. It's I, I am all yours today. That's nice. Maybe that's the guy. It's already Maybe. 3 o'clock. It actually probably is. Okay. Hey, boy. I, I, I don't know the... We will see. Yeah, if we're going to do a portrait. Maybe do one as well, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. three of us doing portraits. So. That's fight! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the true battle. That's, well, no, it'll that's be very fun. ordinary, don't think, you know? <laughs> yes. yeah. Now that's a battle, only one we can survive in this yeah. competition. Yes. Uh, right. We will put fire in the other canvas. Yes, <laughs> I like this idea. Yeah. Yes. Hello man, how are you? <laughs> how are you guys? Hello? Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's working, it's working. I know you guys have a podcast or Yeah, you're in there. Or you're almost in there. Here, let's put you on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never see you if he's going. You'll be right on the couch. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. He does this podcast called Painting Everybody. Or he normally does it out of his home. Um where he with two people together who've never met. Yeah. In this case, this is the first time he's done it, but they haven't met, actually. Um, but <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> Thanks again, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Do you ever accidentally say, take hair? That's the when expression, you, you say, take hair? When you say, take care? No, take you hair. you say, take hair, like, instead on accident. I prefer hair. Take hair. hair. Hair is born. Yeah. Mm. I have something with hair, I think. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you see the color? Uh huh. It, it is. Uh, what is it? Who is that? Um, son. Son. Justin Timberlake. Just son. <laughs> is it Justin Timberlake? <laughs> Anything. It was, I'm like a ritual guy, you know, like yeah, a little yeah. bit vintage. Yes. Insect. Oh, I like yeah. like macaroni yeah. Yeah, hair. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he had delicious oh, looking hair. Geez. Yes. It looks like, uh, yeah, some nice melted cheese. Yes, yeah, so this is what I'm, what I'm trying to do yes. here. And then later I will uh, put everything head and put like a, a panther, like Dennis Hodman, you know? Yeah. I like this attitude. Mm. Oh. No? You guys want to teach me something about philosophy? Oh my god. I don't know. What <laughs> we're, we're, we were in Dennis <laughs> Hodman and now we're, we're going to philosophy. Oh, yeah. well, that's deep. Teach me. Teach, teach, me teach me something. Teach me your favorite thing about philosophy. Please. Oh, me? Of course, my heart. Oh, because, yeah, I'm the most natural philosopher here. <laughs> 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 I mean, really, you could say anything and I would believe it. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. <laughs> um, fuck. No, I was just starting to aerosol, but I don't really Do don't have anything grounded yet. Yes. No. Do you like the Greeks? Do you... No, I hate them. Yes? No. I mean, <laughs> Aristotle is great. I love Aristotle. And Plato. Plato's pretty pretty cool guy. It's Plato, this is all in English. Plato. Plato. I think that, yeah. In Portuguese, it's Plato. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Like, and Plato here means like a, a raised piece of land and then 
Oh wait, no, that's not a plateau. No, plateau <laughs> is like that. It's everything that's very, you know? Yes. Um, okay, I think my favorite thing about Aristotle is that he wrote about uh, beauty and physical features equaling the quality of someone's character. And the way he describes certain characteristics in the face, like in the brow ridge, if it's if if it's a certain way, then it indicates this about a person. And he, <laughs> he broke it down in such a cruel way. Yes. It was extremely funny. <laughs> uh, but it's not meant to be funny. But reading it today is just like, it's unbelievably superficial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just hilarious. It's just, um, it's, it's funny to me to read that today. Uh, like, you know, certain features would, would equal like a sinister character, you know, yes. uh, when you see someone or like, it's like a, like a, yeah, it's, we've experienced so much history since then that it's, it's just laughable, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. unless you disagree, you're kind of silent right now. No, I agree actually. You agree that the character of someone is influenced by their physical appearance? Yes, because the people react to that and then you become what uh, people see, you know? Yeah. If they see like an uh, anger face, then they treat you like uh, in a little defensive. So uh -huh. you become uh, uh, this thing that people are seeing, I think, a little bit. Okay. Like when you have, uh, like I, I always, when I was small, I have like big, very big eyes and I don't have so much jaw. So the eyes stand up more than other things mm -hmm. and looks more like a, a, a things that uh, someone wants to care. So when I was a kid, I was full of love. And uh, I think there's this kind of connection uh, molds you in some, some way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for me, it makes a lot of sense actually. So that's a good explanation. Yeah. Yes. I think it uh, uh, happens a lot actually. Yeah. Well. And of course, there's things about uh, uh, the kind of, uh, uh, how's the word? Like testosterone that you have, so you have like big jaw, so maybe you are a little bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. And you have bald, so you have a little bit more testosterone yeah. too. And yeah. The, this is uh, all physiology, I think. But uh, this is your favorite part? I think from... it's the funniest part. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I like what he writes about friendship also. Yes. And friendships, uh, the, you know, the different types. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, the difference of like romantic love and um, um, comradeship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. I like this kind of topic. Okay, uh, I, one sorry, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you're you're fine. Uh, I think it's uh, one hour. It's uh, it's okay. Yeah, one hour pause, and so we can have like a one hour and a half because we have to take some time, like ten minutes to he rests. Yeah. Do you need a canvas? Do, would you like? To I don't know one? if uh, if you do have. I don't yeah, know. you use that one. Yes, yeah, if it's fine. yeah. Sure. Yes. Thanks, man. And uh, all right, just give me twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much it costs. Fair. And uh, Alan, if, yeah. if you say, it, uh, tell him to be comfortable. What uh, uh, he can wear, everything. That's yeah. totally fine. It's up to him. I don't want to create the image. He is the image. Yes. Nice uh, I quote. Agree. I agree with that. Thanks. My English only got better, you see? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> uh, so what he writes about friendship and, and uh, the, the sorts of different kinds of friendship I find interesting, uh, where he talks about, you know, the best sort of friendship being the friendship that's based on mutual respect of each other's character and accomplishments. Mm -hmm. I think that's really sweet and beautiful. And the sort of base, the lowest level friendship is friendship based on utility. And oh, then, that's nice. And then that's, the, uh, the, so there's, there's a third one in there in the, between those two extremes. Like pleasure seeking, maybe pleasure seeking friendship. It makes sense. Like, it's like they all have their purposes. They're all, you know, they're all part of life. That's uh, very interesting. But they're not, uh, 
they're not all of you know equal measure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree. So I the agree. ultimate, you know, is, is to <coughs> to nurture most the, you know, the the most good friendship is the that of mutual respect for you know the, admiration for the people uh, and their accomplishments and careers. Makes that, sense. that would be you know through his philosophy. And I thought that was a nice a nice starting point for a conversation. Yes, yes, yeah. I agree. I agree. It's a, it's a good standard. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I haven't managed to find one of those mutual respect friends though. One day. Yeah. One day. Yes. Never, <laughs> never lose the faith, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> keep, keep the line, keep it straight on line. One day. Yeah. It will pop up. I'll keep looking. Yes. Do it. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> you seek enough pleasure. Then by chance someone can... Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Anything could happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay. You, you know a little bit more about philosophy than I do, Bruno. And I think that there's, there's some stuff that you understand. Yeah. Uh, from all your writing I've seen, uh, but not been able to read. Yes, sure. I recognize names sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I like it a lot. Uh, uh, some some things that uh, Nietzsche uh, uh, uh -huh. wrote. Mm -hmm. the, the concept about the tragedy, I think it's very beautiful because he don't deny the bad things mm -hmm. and uh, he don't deny negative feelings, but uh, he he talks about they will happen to you, mm -hmm. and the if that's life. And it's all that you have. Uh, what makes sense is love that, whatever it is. So uh, he he embraced the idea about to love the intensity of feelings. Mm -hmm. So if you feel bad, uh, he say, okay, that's time to feel bad. What can you do? S something terrible happened. Mm -hmm. So feel this thing because life it's about how how you are able to experience experience it something with power mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a good way to put because you you stop to to ride your hide yourself from things and uh, mm -hmm. you you are more open to everything that can happen and I, I think if a lot of things happen to you then you you become bigger uh, in, in some way you know mm -hmm. what do you mean by a lot of things just generally or a lot of bad things oh a lot of whatever sure it, it's things important for yes yes even yeah. uh, uh, very uh, uh, silly things but very deep things too yeah. the point is uh, if something hits you uh, you don't deny this reach Mm -hmm. uh, you you try to to digest that and and embrace all this thing and make this energy become something. Uh, it's not about uh, become efficient or more constructive. Mm -hmm. It's not about that, but it's about. Uh, this is Nietzsche we're talking about. Yes, yes, and uh, he put all 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 his thoughts about uh, how you can feel more, mm -hmm. not denying feelings yeah. and uh, he talked how the society uh, try to avoid uh, bad feelings or, or, or mm -hmm. try to hide them and that creates people that they are weak because they are too fragile to, to mm -hmm. feel bad. Yeah, numbing. Yes, and mm -hmm. it's totally uh, 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 normal to feel bad sometimes. And uh, uh, it's okay that you're not okay or that it's not okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that, is that's a popular <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe that's true. Okay. Yeah. All, all the cliches are <coughs> cliches because of uh, they it's are fine. they yeah. are potent. Yeah. You find them in love all the time. Cliches are alive and well. It's yes, fine. I think so. Yeah. I think so. And he has some some other thoughts very nice about. Uh, I don't know how how I say that in English, but uh, there's two ways, two morals: the the, the slave moral and uh, the. Landlord moral. I don't know if that's the right landlord word. moral or what. So the slave and the landlord. Yes, it's it's a total uh, anachronic uh, well, nomenclature. Like metaphor. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, and uh, he said he, he said that uh, the slaves they are too weak to fight against what they don't like, mm -hmm. and so since they cannot win, they feel they cannot win. 
they just pick people that are like them to be the opposition of what they hate. So they never are able to build things because they are always uh, uh, the opposite side of things. So if he, he does something, I will do the opposite. So he, he always react to things mm -hmm. and he cannot uh, create because of that. Because Nietzsche said that reaction is not creation. And uh, this this other moral, the the landlord moral, it's much uh, the opposite. So I'm so powerful, I'm I'm so full of uh, myself in a good way that uh, I don't get rid by anything. So I can put my energy uh, in in action. Uh, I can create uh, without resentment, mm -hmm. and this makes our our. Everything that you create much more powerful because it's free. Mm -hmm. It's it's come from you, not from another guy. You know, mm -hmm. I, I like this idea. I think uh, uh, Nietzsche has a way to see life that's very whole, that uh, can very be whole, a whole like a, yes, uh, whole. Is, yes, and uh, <clears throat> he he embraces all the things like uh, he don't try to make you become better or worse. To, in some ways, he's connected with Aristotle uh, because Aristotle said, uh, if you are wind, you have to, to be wind. If you are like a murder, you have to be a murder. It's, it's, it's a way to uh, be sincere. And if you are dead, just embrace. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, that uh, some things are not nice, but uh, uh, it's a very potent way to live. It's not about uh, if it's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. and, and my idea of living is always to have a potent life. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and that's what I try to reach uh, all the time, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's important. I would call you potent myself. Yeah. Potent? Yes, I would say that about you. Oh, that's mm -hmm. quite nice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that's, yeah, living a rich life, constantly on the yeah. move. Yeah, the uh, yeah. uh, experience life to its greatest potential. The expeditions yeah. also that you go on uh, are, are like very few people I've ever met. Yeah, it's very inspiring. It's, it's very something, nice. something strange. That's, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. Yeah. I, but yes, yes, uh, these expeditions um, change a, a lot of in my life mm -hmm. because, <clears throat> to be honest, it's not about the paintings uh, anymore. It's it's. Mm -hmm about uh, uh, see people and, and see how I understand them wrongly, you know? Like, oh, okay, you look Indian, oh, they are Indians. No, they, they are not like this name, you see, that's, uh, they are much more things, mm -hmm. even worse or even better, but, uh, and then I start to, to be able to look to people with, without a judge, uh, like uh, very fast. And when I, I, I be that way, I allow them to become what they are and the, everything become bigger, like mm -hmm. I become bigger, then become bigger. I, I like that a lot. A, a lot. more timeless moment. Yes, 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 I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. And then I start to, to not uh, uh, search for uh, purposes anymore, you see. Uh, as, as this philosophy gets enriched me, mm -hmm. I start to understand that uh, uh, my idea is just to continue to do what I do already and, and do with power. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't... The, the objectives of things for me, they are side effects. Did you say with power? What? To do what you do already and do it with power, did you say, or did I mishear you? Oh my god, I don't know, I'm <laughs> kind of lost if I that's have okay. to remember the words in Yeah, English. that's fine. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Somebody will record it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, he's my favorite, actually. I, I, I read a lot of uh, from others, mm -hmm. uh, philosophers. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't get. I, I think Schopenhauer is very. Oh my God! She yeah. just needs some friends, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Some context to Schopenhauer. Can you sum up something about it? Uh, it's difficult. for me. Schopenhauer. Uh, uh, I read uh, not so much about him, uh, uh, but for me, Schopenhauer. It's always try to convince people, you know. To okay. prove a point, and uh, I, I, I don't like this idea about uh, uh, convince people. It's a kind of colonization that you do with their minds. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And and he he's very good in arguing. So I always understand his philosophy like uh, 
<coughs> I, I, will, I will say that and don't matter it doesn't matter what I say it's about to make I'm that I'm right in this conversation and that's mm -hmm. part of the philosophy of Schopenhauer mm -hmm. to to win uh, our dialogues and battles uh, mm -hmm. okay and uh, I, I I think win things it's a very very teenager vibe you know I, I don't think mm -hmm. Schopenhauer is teenager <laughs> but uh, uh, doesn't work for for uh, my philosophy right now and I'm, I'm reading now S Seneca Oh, Seneca. Yeah, yes. yes, and it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very excited. I like his quotes. <laughs> yes, yes. Put his quotes in the show in the gift box pretty often. Actually. Yes, yeah. he's great. Yeah, he's great. He's yeah. good. He's good at those. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever read tweeting? He, he, he's, a, he's good on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's like a train to yes. Yeah. Nietzsche can be too. Yes. Just, all of his books, it's like that declarative statements. Mm. It's like yes. It's like. But he complained all the time in the book in, in English too, because in Portuguese they said, "Come on, man, why are you complaining so much?" And uh, and he keep complaining about everything. He's uh, he he needs some friends too. I think. Yeah, yeah. Zarathustra was a hard one to get through, at least for me. Well, to start. Which one? Uh, thus spoke Zarathustra. Ah, see, follow. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, you're, lo it. you're losing me a little bit on that. So, oh, can yeah, you yeah. describe it? Um, it's like a. It's it's a story that he wrote, um, and it's just it's kind of written like it initially starts as a story, but then like um, this old man lives on this mountain, and then he he comes off the mountain into the village, mm -hmm. and like kind of he speaks to the people like his feelings and of the world and like his his lessons that he's learned, and yeah, there's some really interesting dialogue going on. In that. Yes. But it was tough, like, you know, you're, you're getting into the flow of the story and then it's just declarative statement, declarative yeah, statement. Yeah, yeah, declarative yeah, yeah. Like, Not so subtle. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not the best storyteller. No, but but he gets his point across really well. I agree, I uh, agree. I mean, I agree. in the early stage of the story, it's like some of the things I remember most is like, you know, in order to go over one must go under as well and I, I think that's a really interesting idea just nice could you explain that like in order to get over like at least for me as i like as i feel it it's like in order to get over an obstacle or to overcome something one must like go under go into themselves in a way to like oh, really get a greater understanding i understand that yeah so the thing I've gone under <laughs> <laughs> oh yes <laughs> me too <laughs> me too you don't have to see the obstacle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I start. Yeah. Have you ever, guys have ever hit uh, Taoism mm, that's from Lao Tse? No. Yeah, I, I have. I, 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 I start that too, and I was uh, very surprised to, to see that this book is the second book most read in all the history of the world. Really? And no one uh, knows that. It's crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, Lao Tzu. Yes, yes, okay. and it's a great uh, idea of uh, uh, no action way of living. So he 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 says that uh, you don't have to be artificial in nothing that you do. Mm -hmm. So if you have a struggle, you stop to struggle, and it's but it's very difficult to understand how you don't do anything or or you just. But uh, I think for art, it's good because it's a way to uh, to let things flow more, to put more your emotions on it. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's very good uh, for painters. Uh, it's a it's a great philosophy. It makes me a little less overthinking when I'm uh, working. Mm -hmm. He's good. All, all these these Oriental uh, uh, writers and philosophers, mm -hmm. for me, they are this kind of. They have this vibe about to be more balanced, you know. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you, you don't have a place to go. The, it's everything's already happened now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. enjoy or whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's yeah. a kind of mindfulness. Mm -hmm. I like that. You can get a bit of that feeling too, like through Dostoevsky. Yes, 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 yes. So good. I love. How so? 
at least I'm trying to remember like Brothers Crumbs up. That that was my favorite of his books. I, I start that What's just the now. The the Brothers Karamazov. Okay. Yeah, it's a book of uh, it's a family, these three brothers, um, and the father who is just kind of this like terrorist in the family. He just comes in and like just assaults everybody verbally and then just leaves the room and it's it's <laughs> it's just a lot of drama. The oldest brother is in love with this woman that the father is also in love with and typical. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it turns into like this murder mystery. It's it's a really good book. Uh, yes, he agrees. But yeah, the the feeling of like being washed over by like by just like living in a way. It's like through the youngest brother. Mm-hmm. Um, they call him a- Alyosha. I think the same as Alexei. Yes, um, yes. And, Alyosha. Yeah, Alyosha. He's such a good character. Like he's just like the religious one of the family, and he just. He doesn't know anything. He's just like he lives. He just experiences the world and just like, um, like without any judgment. He just like he just talks to anybody and like just loves them unconditionally, regardless of where they are in their space. Mm. And it's like the middle brother, um, Ivan. Is it Ivan? I can't remember. Is I that an imitable so character? Is that why you What's like him? Do you relate to that, or why do you like that character? Alyosha. Yeah. Um, I think I relate to him a great deal, um, at least as he's like the, one of the central figures in the story because it's kind of told through his perspective mm. in a way. Um, God, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the story, just how it unfolds. It, I think it's just like his humility through like how he lives and just how he just embraces like the tragedy that unfolds, um, I try, I, I want to live that way as yeah. best I can too. Like mm-hmm. just like being thankful for the suffering. But way. do you know, I think he can only write that because of what they live. Do you know the story mm-hmm. in the beginning? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, uh, do you know that Adam? No, I don't. Uh, Dostoevsky uh, was accused uh, to be a, how's the word? When you are against the the government, uh, At, what? what? Treasonous? I don't know. I don't know. But he uh, he. Okay, that's probably both work. Yeah. 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 Close enough. And uh, yeah, and sure. and the guy said, "Okay, man. So I will kill you with the other prisoners." And mm-hmm. he said, "Come on." Man. I was just in a reunion with people mm-hmm. tell that I don't like the government, but I was not so engaged. And and the government say, okay, I don't care, you will die. Please go to a very cold place to die, and we'll we'll uh, how's the word hit you with oh, a, a yeah. lot of guns, not so yeah. high. <laughs> and uh, and no, and they put the guy there. And and the guy say, oh come on, I will die. I cannot mesh and put the thing on the eye. Pick the, the guns and say, okay, now one, two, I'm kidding. And then they don't kill the guy. And he was like <laughs> totally despair. And they, they put him like uh, in, in uh, how is the word? The place that is in Russia, that's most uh, cold place. Oh, um, that was a prison there. Siberia. Yes, yes. Siberia. and they uh, are. He sent him to Siberia, so he spent ten years in prison in the most cold place in the world. And then we, when you come back, of course you can create like a very, very uh, meaningful things like, yes. uh, mm-hmm. and you are grateful to life, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes I, I, this is why I think, it, of course, that's not good uh, to have bad things happen to you, mm-hmm. but. This is why it's important to experience things, you know, because if you want to have a great joy, you have to understand the point of perspective of great, uh, uh, yeah. bad yeah. feelings. Oh, and like Dostoevsky also had like the epileptic seizures. Yes, you know, yes. That, that he said he was incredibly thankful for because after the, after he had those seizures, he had like this white light or this energy that just gave him this inspiration to create too. Yes. And that was, that's like powder. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Same exact story. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Who? Powder? 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 Yeah. With the, um, 
uh, he's struck by his mother was struck by lightning when she was pregnant with him, and then he came out as an albino, uh, and had uh, no hair on his body, alopecia also, and then he could shoot lightning from his fingers tips. I think I know the guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and things like like that, you know. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. They they don't make people like that anymore. <laughs> they don't make people like they used to. You know? No, no, uh, I don't think so. Don't. But you see, Dostoevsky spent life doing that, and then we suffer because of Instagram. Yeah. So it would be difficult to create something <laughs> with power. Uh, <laughs> we we need to get a life, I think. I've never yes. had one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to get there. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, so, that was a good education. Yeah. Thanks for that. Mm-hmm. Anytime. <laughs> we are here to, it's like to talk, but with pain, you see? Right. Yeah. Uh, things that we care about, hopefully. Yeah. I think so. Uh, we can talk about things we don't care about too. All right, it might be fun. Yeah. What do you care about least? Least? Yes. Nails. Nails? Like yes. fingernails? I, I even paint nails. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I don't like even bother. Don't so kill the, the thing when they have yeah. like tiki 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 spots of yep. something. Sure, yeah. Unless they're painted or something and then it's meaningful. Yes. But yeah. They like a little dots, yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think this is the worst uh, nothing thing that. Uh, Ever good. exists. What I hate painting hands. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Oh. They just look like blobs at the end. It's like that's my weird. my painting in there. I just like one. I love Sergeant's hands. They're so mm-hmm. brutish mm-hmm. and minimal, but perfect. It's yes. So nice to see that. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's so beautiful. I remember now. Yeah, all of them. It's always like that. Yes, but it's all that odd said to me is something I never forget. A sergeant always paint the same painting, and I, I keep thinking about that. Yeah, and it's true in some way. You see, uh, all the qualities are already the same, always. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell the audience of this show that that's a bad thing. Okay, no, that's very nice, actually. Being <laughs> constant, lovely. you have, yeah, <laughs> master the one. The best thing about him. <laughs> <laughs> no, these change from episode to episode, especially this one. It will never look like this again. Yeah. Good. Uh, what the thing you care less? I, at I, least I, about? Have, I have nails. You have what? Uh, just in general in life. Uh, but if we're talking about in painting, uh, teeth, maybe. Um, but can, how do you paint teeth in a way that's not vulgar? No, just uh, yes, yeah. yes. It's yes. like a. You see so many drawings. In drawing, it's even worse because you make a decision in drawings when you're doing teeth. Mm-hmm. Like say you're drawing a child who's smiling or something like that. You see so many bad tattoos. Uh, if you Google that. Okay. That you, you can see so many bad tattoos of children, like portraits on people's yeah. bodies, mm-hmm. uh, where the teeth are individually <laughs> outlined with a black line. It's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is very difficult. I mean, totally, <laughs> totally. Yeah, it can look like caricature in a way. Yeah, it, yeah it's... George Billows has some great uh, smile faces. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it definitely does. Yes. I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from like, from like house, do you know from well, house? Well, well. I knew I knew you would put your leg back up. <laughs> I knew you would put your leg back up eventually. I waited to paint it. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love it. That's that's why this show is the way it is. <laughs> uh, Hello. Is like, no, 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 no problem. Actually, like, your appointment is in fifteen minutes. Sure. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So that was that's one thing that I don't uh, that I don't really pay attention to. But in life, yes, please. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, the question is, don't what don't you care about at all? What do you care the least about? Yes, like, but you live with it, but you don't care about, like, you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. Socks? No. Mm. It's difficult. I feel like that's a difficult one for me to answer, honestly. Because uh, I could say something because I want to appear a certain way that I'm cooler oh, okay. than I am in some way, you know what I mean? Yes. But, I, but to be honest with that question is difficult. Uh, toes. Yeah, if you lost toes. Like three toes. I don't care about... Cleaning doorknobs. Cleaning what? Cleaning a doorknob. Okay. Until I have to. And then I care. So it's, there's not really anything I don't care the most about, you yes. know? It's like it's this... You, eventually you care, I think. That's good, I think. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't like this idea about don't care about things that you... That's hard. Yes. But that was one of, the, that was one of my uh, characteristics, actually, when we first met, uh, was... was I would, you would say things, uh, apologize for something, and I would say, I don't care. I remember. I that. forgot that, yeah. Oh, I forgot it's that. Fun. It yeah. was I, so true. What I meant was, I don't mind. But I thought because of our language barrier, it would be easy to understand that. But that just kind of became like a catchphrase. That's, oh my god, so, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. that's crazy. So I don't care became this sort of, uh, I don't mind. Uh, but I don't care sounded so much more uh, indifferent and and like cool or something. Like, <laughs> the true yeah. nihilist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so hard. It was pretty funny though. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. That was a conscious thing I was doing to accommodate you. Uh, it, but it was like I wasn't doing it right. It, it just became that. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, I was over uh, over emphasizing something that wasn't the problem to begin with. <laughs> was, well, well, you, you don't need to make that complicated. <laughs> Very simple thing to express, and that's how that's how things operate around this brain. <laughs> uh, is there something you care the least about, Trevor? Have you had some time to think about that now? I do not care about fixing chairs. What like do you mean? They have like a, you know, like old chairs, how they have like I little know. spindles on the side and they uh -huh. come loose. Yes. I just don't care. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does you like the decrepit look? Yeah. I, I, I like that. So, so you care, so decay. you care. I like that look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I do yeah. care. Yes, you, uh, you wait until then is in the right place. Uh, and Okay, all right. Shit. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, that one doesn't count. <laughs> Counts in it well enough, I think. <laughs> uh, all right. Somebody else. How about a question from you? About what? Whoever wants to ask a question. Whoever wants to. Okay. Mention a topic. What? Uh, which is the most beautiful person that you ever met in your life? Oof. Ever in person? Yes. Ah, that is a toss-up. I've met who? Some very beautiful women. Uh, I painted one for this show, who's, I think, to me, the most beautiful woman I've ever painted in person. That's wonderful. Angelic. Uh, yeah, angelic. And proportions and all of the things are just like, how were you born? You look like engineered in a laboratory. <laughs> it didn't look right. And so it was just this so gorgeous. And um, she was a model from Australia. She's in the Lady Komodo painting. Uh, I just couldn't even believe it that she was in the same room and that <laughs> I was just in awe while I was working, but we're just having the most casual conversation while I'm painting her. And it was, 
It was so cool. Uh, I think I could do second as uh, Minden Nerdrum, I think, was when I was painting her. She was 16, this youthful, angelic glow of this, like, just didn't have a care in the world. There was something more, it was beyond her physical beauty. I it understand. Was this, it, not a care in the world, not a worry in, that, in her head. It, like, when you're painting that portrait, it was just like, how? <laughs> what would that be like? <laughs> I will never know what that's like. I never have. <laughs> it's, uh, that was something that, uh, that, was, that was a great nice. experience too. So I would say between those two. Yeah. Sure. And a man, can you name a... Uh, 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 you're trying to get on this list, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's fishing for compliments. <laughs> uh, there he is. <laughs> That's a difficult one. Yeah. I have to search my brain for a bit. Sure. So we can go to the next person to answer that, maybe, Trevor. Want me to ask you something? No, you can answer that question. Oh, most beautiful man that I've seen. Yeah. Well, no woman. You if you want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, loaded question. No. <laughs> exactly. My fiance is yep. the most beautiful. Yes, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The second one. The question is the second one. The second one. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in person. Um, yes. It's difficult to think that. Yeah, it is. God, but yeah, that is a, is a unique experience when you feel that way. Uh, is, I think it's some girl I was trying to date in college. Yes, look in her eye. It's always put the eyes in a way for me. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, can you describe? It's like there's like a searching in a way. Okay, so it's the psychology behind the eyes or it's... Yeah, I think so a little okay. bit. Okay, yeah. But still like beauty in like the face and the jawline too. Mm -hmm. It's like the way jawline is just almost like s smooth. I don't know, that one's, that one's tricky. I'm like trying to go back through all the memories. Like, hey. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's yes, a I still don't, uh, I cannot yeah. pull a name off this. Yes. Uh -huh. It's difficult. So weird. Mm. I'll get back to you on that one. And uh, I start to understand that a lot of uh, people that I get attracted there, the, they are not the most beautiful that I ever see. You see? It's so mm -hmm. weird. That's not a connection, literally. <laughs> Between these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you meet someone and, and their beauty really is intoxicating. Their physical beauty is just intoxicating. Mm -hmm. And when they don't recognize it, uh, it's the saddest thing. It's so sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you meet some people like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost like um, in dating, you're trying to find these people who you have such physical attraction to, like raw physical attraction, and then mm -hmm. when, you, when they don't recognize it, it's this sort of indication that they've been mistreated, you know, yes. by the world or by yes. something, mm -hmm. where you just think, ah, oh, it's so fucking sad. That, you know, it's when someone uh, is photographed and they see the picture and every time they see a new photo of themselves, they're like, oh, you know, and it's alarmingly beautiful. When you encounter people yes. who are like that, it's the saddest thing ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you should know how effortlessly you could be walking through this earth. Like, it's just like, yeah, this is fine. This is what I got. You know, like, this is, know, know your worth, you know. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. this is my, that's my right. finger wag. <laughs> know your worth. <laughs> mm. And what's the best meal that you ever had? Uh, hmm. um, a 
Herzen. This would vary by how hungry I was, what was the most hungry I ever was, you know? Uh, and that's like a, then whatever I, to, to feed myself was the most, <laughs> so it's like, it could, maybe it wasn't the most wonderful steak that I ever ate, sure. but I, it was a wonderful steak. Uh, Jesus, I don't know. Uh, so, where was that? Mm. Someone gave me... No, there was a barbecue. There was a party that I was at year, many years ago, and someone had brought some very rare meat, and they had, you know, just barely cooked it, and it was some kind of specialized beef. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like, this is rare. This is special beef. <laughs> <laughs> Barely cooked. <laughs> Eat up. That was it. That Great was point. It. That was it. That was the, the best. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that would be this, this sort of simplicity of that meal and the, the, the intensity of the flavor was just. It was so dense with flavor and so pure tasting. There was there was a time that I was in some of the best meat that I ate was in when I was in the Caribbean. I was in Dominica and we were in this village uh, in the jungle and it was we were staying there with an ex girlfriend's family, like they were her step relatives, uh, and that allowed us to kind of get you know the actual village life living instead of like some resort or something like that. So. Uh, in the morning, her stepfather, he went up the hill and they slaughtered this, uh, they slaughtered a cow that morning and he took the meat from the cow that was just slaughtered that, that day and we ate it that day and it was just, it was a, this pure kind of feeling. So I think there was a psychological association with yes, it also, yeah. so that, that was another very memorable time, yeah. both meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. but so it seems like I'm, yeah, carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone else want to answer that question? Steak. Definitely. Yes, me too. Yes. yes. Yeah. It's about the and texture. Georgia. Oh yeah, covered in butter. Mmm. Uh, yeah. Mm, uh. <laughs> no, I like. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was uh, a couple of years ago, Atlanta, Georgia. Oh. Yeah. I'm getting starving right now with this. I know. Yes. Yeah, there are sandwiches. Yes. Yeah, we're all kind of oh, you didn't know? No. Yeah, there's a box full of sandwiches back oh there. Oh my god, that's very nice. I think that your portrait is here. Oh yeah. Paused. And that means we can pause this. Okay. The sandwich it's before it's you okay paint. for. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Do you have you have to ride? Uh, I have come very far on this painting already. Yes. Nice. And. Yes. It's good to step away now, so I don't overwork it too. Nice. Cool. cool. So uh, let's do that. We'll come back and we'll, sure. we'll see how we feel. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can, so can you? That's 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 break time. It's right, the great. painting, so we can. It's enough of you. It's enough for you. <laughs> Yes, pillows, but it's a too high pillow, so oh, it's... Yeah. What kind of pillows? What do you mean? What? <coughs> what kind of pillows? What it's, sort of pillows? It's, it's too high and uh, it's difficult to, to when I wake up because... In the... In the, in in the where you're sleeping? Yes. yes. Okay. You end up being like... Yes, yeah. not the best feeling, but the, the bed is very good. Nice, nice. Good. Does it vibrate when you put quarters into it? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Not, not always. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's, uh, 
finicky just, system. It keeps you disciplined. It keeps you wanting. Yes, yes. It's it's a Machiavellian. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nerdrum called me that one time. Hmm? Nerdrum called me that one time. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was exaggerating and being kind of cruel. <laughs> what a guy. Yeah. Well, it was just something that I said. <laughs> Maybe it's a plan. A plan. I think it's a plan. Sure. What's that? Oh, it's a truck outside. Yeah, something I said, not something I did. He's very. He. Uh, sure. It's very silent here. Quiet. Because yes, quiet. Because it's a avenue, but it's totally without. Uh, yeah. Yes. Very good place. Um. It is a little quieter than you would expect, yeah. Yes, yes. Do you know this area well? No. No? Uh, I don't spend time over here, I think. Yeah. It's just an area where you spend money. It doesn't okay. feel like this. Uh, like dates and things like that, you know? It sure. doesn't feel like there's anything I would do over here. Sure. It's sure. more a commercial area here? Yeah. Okay. I mean, which is good for what we're, you know, what we're doing here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think it's the best place to be, so... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, what did we think of the painting that Bruno did? What do you think? I think do we have it here? Do we have there? <coughs> cool. Can you see that? For me, it reminds me a little bit... Uh, uh, like young boys from... Uh, Picasso or, or Matisse, you remember like this kind of vibe that's very um, very simplified mm-hmm. shapes yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. in a fresh way, like uh, yep. they look like younger always. That's think. really nice. Yeah, I agree. Do you mind holding like it, Trevor, since you have the close up? Yeah. Oof, that's nice. No, put your face back in, that was cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, That's beauty. That was a really cool little aside. I liked that. I liked that we did that. Oh, um, nice. Or, well, that you did that and that we got to experience it. So the, the guy was very nice too. Mm-hmm. He's a very uh, calm and makes all the difference to paint, I think. Mm-hmm. It's difficult when you paint people that even when they are uh, uh, stand up, it's, they they have something that everything is too uh, how's the word? Uh, I don't know if I forget the, about. Ah. Just bound. Yes, Nervous. yes, yes, bound. Yes, yes. It, it's easy to see. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's like there's an expectation. Yes. But you know that's that's something that I like when I met uh, the collectors. Uh, they always are in a good moment because when you can think about art, you are like in a more mm-hmm. nice place, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's always uh, a, a nice uh, vibe when I get them. Yeah. yeah. Do you agree? Uh, it's a nice vibe when you can meet the collectors. Because they are, when uh, people that can connect to art, in mm-hmm. that moment they are in a cool place, like a, in a good moment of life. So they are not, uh, they emanate, uh, a, for me, it's a kind of a good energy, I don't know, that uh, I enjoy a lot. Psychically? Yes. Okay. So I want to make sure that I'm understanding what you're saying. I think so. I think, uh, you you prefer okay. doing that than uh, to uh, meeting online or something or interacting on, over the internet for the sales. Um, how is that possible? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better at talking, but sometimes I take steps backwards. <laughs> no, I can. I I agree with you. Like actually, like experiencing the artwork with the collector. Yes, I like that. It's, yeah, there's there's something to it where 
like when especially when you know like you both share that like feeling of like what you created mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. something special yeah. um, like, or not necessarily you but like you what you s- both see in it is like something that you know you didn't think that was possible as well yes yes i agree yeah. i agree i agree totally yeah. alan what are your thoughts uh, on what this painting yeah. i like it a lot it's very nice <laughs> It's kind of the same feeling in sketchy than the other one that's in the middle, you know? Mm-hmm. Not too much details, it's more about the presence. Yeah. The guy seems to like, I think. Yeah, he, I'm trying to think about how I'm going to position it for him. Like, if he buys a painting, we'll give this to him, or mm-hmm. if, you know, I'm trying to... Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> The insect, we'll talk. The Let's talk when you're done. For the bigger scale. Sure. I, 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 you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's tough. Bye bye. See ya. Tough conversation for camera. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. I think. I mean, that's the only conversation I've had on camera. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. I'm so curious to see that. See the painting? Yeah. It's not very good. <laughs> I'm, I'm Don't be so curious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to see, not to appreciate, you understand? I understand. <laughs> Thank God I'm a good painter. When you look at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't see you using this kind of shoes. Uh, I don't. Usually. I left my boots here, so I had to just wear what I had around. The oh, house. okay. I say, okay, that's <laughs> new. I think. Yeah, these are too cute for me. I think. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> At least for I, what I'm wearing right I now. I agree. <laughs> I agree, actually. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's too young in in, in some yeah. sense. Yeah, it's like a schoolyard bully or something. <laughs> but, or or maybe I would get bullied. Maybe more so that. No, I don't think he, you have this kind of. No? Uh, no. No. I don't think so. <laughs> so, I, I never asked that before, but uh, uh, uh-huh. there is any uh, kind of a sport that you like to play? Uh, like you for real? I mean, I don't play seriously, of but I, I enjoy throwing balls and catching them. Mm. <laughs> or trying to get balls to do other things with like going to hoops or um I'm, I'm or like to hit into each other like when you throw them on grass or to um to like fit through holes this mostly is a, it's balls. a sport all sorts of sports oh yeah with balls yeah like the bocce balls that's fun bocce uh, balls you like you, you, it's like a yard game. So you have you have grass. You throw, you throw a ball, and then you throw another ball, and you throw another ball. Oh, bosha! Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> it's very exciting. That's the yard. It's, 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 it's for centenary people. I like yeah. that a lot. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I know yeah. another game. So I those know. are the ki- kinds of games that I. But that I was can. a nice one. Yes. <laughs> Yes. And, Lots and of ball throwing. Yeah. yeah. And you? Uh, I don't really play sports. No, <laughs> no I'll play basketball. Yeah. I enjoy basketball. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. It's fun. As a soccer player when I was younger. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> happens a lot. <laughs> yeah. Or as they say. Bruno, football. you were a soccer player. Oh, I love soccer. In another life. I, I, right? I would be easily a soccer player. Mm-hmm. I think it's so... I saw you with a gigantic trophy when I, one of the first times yes. I saw photos of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, I like the, dy- the dynamic of the game. Can you explain what that trophy was, please? What? What was that trophy for? Uh, we won like a, a regional uh, competition, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, it was like 30 groups uh, 30 groups and 30 teams mm-hmm. so it was very big at that time mm-hmm. at least for me of course yeah 
and it was fun because there's a guy that uh, uh, hates the, the game and everything else. So everyone gives me uh, a nickname, it was very fun. Uh, I like that moment a lot. I think it's good because you can release a lot of violence and at the same time you can do some beautiful movements too, so uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's very dynamic. Uh, but when I think about uh, your football here, I think it's different, it's just uh, one thing. It stops and starts so yes, much. Yes, yes. So much. I, I think it's, <sighs> I don't understand how it's difficult to understand the dynamic of, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it's not, not for me, I guess. Yes, no. not for me either. No, I'm not a big fan. But what's, what's the sport that everyone plays here? There, there is one, like uh, we have uh, soccer there. Uh, we seem to like baseball also. Oh yeah, yeah I thought it was I basketball. We, I don't know if we actually do, but we we say we do, and we like to get drunk at the stadiums. It's yeah. Oh, okay. It's like uh, okay. That, yeah, that's part of the pastime of enjoying uh -huh. the sport for sure. It's fifty percent. <laughs> About fifty percent <laughs> getting hammered at the yeah. stadium. <laughs> Do you have a, a team, a baseball team? Do I? Do, do, do. I, <laughs> I can't watch the sport, honestly. No, no I've, I've been to a handful of games, mm -hmm. but um, watching it on TV, it's like, Too I, much. I'll just fall asleep watching it. Oh, okay. So. Mm -hmm. But it's good to fall asleep. Well, yeah. That's true. Yes. Yeah. I like to say, just, I, I don't like to nap too often, so. Far. Uh, I'd rather just do like 12 hours of sleeping and then just call it good. <laughs> I'll just sleep most of my life away. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I think we've exhausted all topics we could possibly talk about. Mm. We don't we don't find anything else interesting about this world. No, there is nothing. Oh, I'm quite... Uh, yeah. I, I like the conversation actually. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding, folks. I'm thinking about the sandwiches right folks. now. How do you like that word, folks? Folks. Yeah. Does that Gee does that sound as it as um as strange to you as it does to me? It looks like a lonely tune or something. Oh. Yeah, like old timey. Yeah, because it's the only place. It's a little date. It's a little dated sounding. Yeah. Yes. It's weird. Yes. Yes. Like it belongs to a different era or something. It's funny. I think guys is a weird word too. Yeah? Yes, yeah, like guys, guys. Hey guys. Yeah, yes, yes. I think it's smash a Smash that like button or smash that <laughs> bell. Smash that bell. <laughs> guys. <laughs> a little bit weird, you see? Yeah. yeah. Yes, not my word. Mm. Yes. A little shallow. Yes. Shallow. Shallow is a nice word. Shallow. Um, who have you been listening to uh, for music these days while you work? Or while you do anything? I, I, I listen all day, actually. I'm Never. listening to some Spanish uh, 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 singers right now, but uh, yeah. it's too heavy. <laughs> oh my god, I will lose all my see. It's a little bit cheesy with a little bit kitschy, and then it is in Spanish. So, mm -hmm. too much. Mm -hmm. oh. And I, you? I've been. <laughs> I'm usually just a mix of like Radiohead and. Uh, um, Radiohead is nice. Mm -hmm. A lot of jazz, but lately I've been really into funk, like Lonnie Liston Smith. Oh, that's and, nice. Um, Pharaoh Sanders. It just really weird jazz music. It, it's like calmed me for like the last several months yeah. for whatever reason. It's a good, uh, good talk. And you? I listen to all sorts of things. Uh, lately. I've been listening to my songs that I like on Spotify, like my liked playlist mm -hmm. this past uh, couple of weeks, mm -hmm. just so I don't forget who I am while we're doing all this work for the show. Mm -hmm. It was like a, 
empowering kind of, you know, yeah. listening to familiar things, not seeking out new things very much. Yes, yes, I weeks. totally got it. Yeah. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah, yes. it helped me, it was grounding. Yeah. yeah. Never, never think that before, it was a very good idea to do. Definitely yeah. helped. Mm -hmm. Songs I know the lyrics to. <laughs> I always change the songs. It depends on the painting. It's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I'm painting, I like to listen to new, new stuff. Uh, but it's things I haven't heard anyhow. Yeah. But yeah, just all the other stuff, running around, planning things. Mm -hmm. It's been helpful. Do you like music when you're working? Does it matter if it has lyrics or? Uh, if I'm writing, it's absolutely not possible for me to write uh, with lyrics on. Mm -hmm. So, not then, but yeah, when I'm painting or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if I need to concentrate on something, there's no way I can have any lyrics going on. Mm -hmm. I think uh, my mind just attaches too much meaning to them. And I, I, yeah. I have a hard time detaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I found, especially working, I, I've been really grown attached to just instrumental music. Like something about just like the sound and allowing my mind to just free associate while I'm working. It's, mm. it's just easier to just kind of like dive into what I'm doing. No, you have make a lot of sense. Mm. How about you? Does it matter? No. Uh, uh, depends. Depends. Uh, for me, it depends of the person that I'm painting, and and mm -hmm. the 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 people, uh, the person mood is my mood actually. Mm -hmm. So if uh, she is romantic or if he is uh, nervous or whatever, I try to find a music that uh, I connect with them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I, it's a little bit weird sometimes. The song doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, I like this idea about uh, try to be another one. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very good feeling, I think. Yeah, sure, sure. And oh, uh, I cannot make this question for you because you don't have good taste on it. But uh, Adam, <laughs> uh, your moves, can you say? Because he has some problem with. Uh, there's a lot of moves that uh, he he wow, get it, the get it <laughs> wrong. You see? Oh, you would. You would not like my taste, I think. I, I'm so eclectic. Sometimes, some days I'm like a ten-year-old boy. Some days I'm like a twelve-year-old boy. No, that we can say we can. <laughs> there's two moves that I can understand all the things if you say me if you like or not. Okay. Okay. Do you like Lord of the Rings? Mm. Occasionally, mm. it's pretty occasional, but I think I tried watching the new series. Okay. I couldn't be interested in it. Oh yeah. Okay, I felt, I felt, I felt so disconnected. No, don't me. enter that like that no, uh, uh, with that door. Mm -hmm. No, I don't mm -hmm. like that. It it wasn't, wasn't classical. It didn't feel like anything. <laughs> it didn't feel nostalgic. It didn't feel like it was. All that I could do was appreciate the technical aspects and special effects and. Okay. Like, um, I think you know, this is the, the right the answer. Scene, the scenes and things, but I think that I didn't connect to it like I did the Peter Jackson movies or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think I did. I feel a little pressure right now that I shouldn't like it. <laughs> Sorry for the moment. No, it's okay. You're, the it, constant contention making your between <laughs> blockbustery movies. <laughs> so, um, what is it that you don't like about them? Because I think that's going to help me to understand more Okay. I, why I shouldn't like I, I think, uh, uh, yes, I will <laughs> I try to explain why you shouldn't like this Good. kind of thing. That would help a lot. Yes. Uh, I never make this question for me, this is the first time. Yeah. But there's a lot of uh, whys. Uh, okay. For me, it's very annoying how... Hello. How descriptive everything is. It's... it's uh, it, it's like a, a RPG, you see, like uh, the guy has some quality and the other has another quality. So everything is too descriptive. 
I, 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 I don't have space to, to feel something because I know that this is the warrior, that's the monster, that's... Uh, and it, it's a classical like storytelling way, but I don't like storytelling. I, I'm, I'm much more like into Tarkovsky thing, even if I, I like a lot of uh, shitty things too. <laughs> but uh, no, no, that I'm saying, you yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, this thing about being too um, consequence, cause, consequence, cause, uh, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's like a formula, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and ever everyone gets uh, uh, they start to get oh that's important because that guy is that guy that, this is not important because how they feel about it just just because they the guy that is this guy has to do that thing and uh, there's not a lot of room for like you being able to interpret things as the yes thing. yes I think so it's it's uh For Tarkovsky it's like total opposite yes but yes. he he steers you but then he's like he pulls back a little bit can you tell to, me who that is that you just said uh, oh my god Andre Tarkovsky okay what's a Russian it? director I think uh, what's uh, one of his uh, stalker yeah. have you ever seen stalker that, yeah. did you finish Oh my god I see stalker like now ten thousand <laughs> times it's so good it's so good it's, it's for me, it's like top three if, uh, in the, that the one of story. Best films all time. Yes, it's so beautiful. Cool. Oh my god, it's good it, tips. It's so beautiful. You will sleep like ten thousand times, mm -hmm. but it is worth. Oh, that's, yes. that was like Shutter Island when I tried to watch that. I tried to watch that probably five times, so I <laughs> call I started calling it Shut Eye Island. <laughs> and it, it happens it be, to me too. It became it so true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another good one for that is uh, Time Bandits. Yeah. What, um, which is that? Uh, do you know Terry Gilliam? Yes. Uh, oh, I haven't Brazil. actually seen the movie. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, so he made a movie. It's about uh, this kid. Um, oh, I heard about that's a very yeah. bad... Uh, yes. With, yeah, with uh, dwarves that come out of his closet and they're like traveling through time. and It's so funny. It's such a funny movie, but I tried watching the movie like maybe seven times fell asleep yes. every single time oh. like halfway through but it's like it's one of my favorite movies that I can never finish kind of <laughs> <laughs> well Terry Gilliam is great yeah. Yeah. the uh, the fables adventures of uh, Baron Munchausen oh my god oh, I remember seeing it it's so, so beautiful I remember yes. seeing it in high school oh. and, being, and just yeah. thinking how is this yeah, Courtney and I true. love Baron Munchausen. Yes, yes, me too. It's so nice. Yeah. So nice. It's so funny. I love Terry Gilliam's humor. It's, it's like just wicked, but it's it's just so well stated. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I like him a lot too. A yeah. lot. Yeah. But yeah, Tarkovsky, all of his movies are sleepers. Oh, all the movies. It's crazy how... It's <laughs> Literally, yes, like, yes, no like one knows movie. about but... They also put you to sleep. Yes, so. That's so good. Yeah. It's this is weird, huh? That's something that's so good, uh, and you sleep a lot. Yeah, dreamlike quality. Yes, I get that. With we're just like going down all these movie directors. Here we go. Sure, <laughs> go for it. Yeah, David Lynch too. David Lynch has that. Not a fan. Of you don't like David Lynch? Not a fan. I really don't like Lost Highway, but like some no? of his other movies. Um, but Mahon Drive, I, really like. I guess I liked Blue Velvet. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that one was like a, a little bit more humane, a little bit sure. less myopic. Mm -hmm. like he, he's just doesn't How's the work? Myopic. What? Like he can't see outside of himself. To okay. To other okay. People. Oh, absolutely. Like it's like, okay. Yeah. That's cool. It's been nice looking at your mirror reflection of yourself. Oh, okay. Like that's. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Especially you enjoyed, when you knew. It seems like you really enjoyed making this for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that with him too. It's, it is strange. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> David Lynch only cares about himself too. Yeah. Yes, totally. It's, it's, it's yes. Uh, for me, it's like if for me he do almost uh, the same thing always. That's the problem. It's good, but it's the same thing because. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it, the, the style is is do you know when Tim Burton become Tim Burton and then you say okay man that's not that's so bad mm -hmm. 
uh, it's kind of a pastiche uh, of himself. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, David Lynch d did that after he became like famous. Yeah, you know? I, I can see that. Too. I think it's good, of course, but uh, he has a couple of really great films. But yes, it's like. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. You you start to see like a, a similarity to all of his things. Yes, the, the, it's not about the story, but the way he put things, you you, you see it. Okay, David Lynch. Okay, David Lynch. And then uh, if if you can predict so much, that's uh, lose a little bit the magic. I think. Yes. Yes. You know. Like what is happening with David Fincher too? To me. Yeah. Yeah. And he was so good. Uh, His early days were yes. incredible. And like then seven. Like, oh my god, seven! I think it's the best trailer that. It's uh, unbelievable, yeah. Best noir, one of the yeah. best noir movies ever. Mm -hmm. Like oh, so nice. That that the end there. is so good. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yes. Oh, I was so shocked with that. I was mm -hmm. doesn't I, I didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and of course, Fight Club is very classic because we see that when we are teenagers. So it was like perfect time yeah, too. Yeah, right. Yeah, the angstiness. Yes, I saw it and I said, oh my god, I am into that, it was so crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's still, if you see the movie, it's still very stylish. Mm -hmm. Everything has, has a aesthetic that is, is, I don't know, but it's the, it's almost too much, but it works in like magical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then he do some other films like... Uh, I don't know the Gone Girl movie, you see? Yeah, yes, I, I didn't care for that. I didn't yes, know. because I say, oh, I will show that I'm clever, I just but... Don't, uh, that was yeah. exactly it. Yes, movie. so boring. I really did not like how it ended. It felt very cheap. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, yeah, I felt that with Network, too. Uh, his I understand, was, yes, yes. I, I, I understand. Uh, I think it was more watchable because uh, it was nothing and the guy created some uh, emotions there but uh, uh, when you think like seven and or, or fight club or which more he did in that time he did paint room but I, I I think it's whatever mm -hmm. yeah. it's funny nerding out on movies today. I love movies <coughs> I was I was nerding out on Bergman last night with uh, Bergman. with someone uh, at towards the beginning of the night. Yeah, I don't know who brought it up. I think he did. He was like, I just love Bergman. It was like, <laughs> just went down that whole rabbit hole. Berg Bergman loves uh, Tarkovsky. Yeah, yes. yeah. They're quite friends. Yeah, they were. There's a movie that is very famous. This kind of vibe, and I I cannot like. I like to. I like the idea about liking the move, but I can't. It's uh, Wings of Desire, you know. I love that movie. Yes, this is this is what I'm talking. I, I I see that with all my okay. I will like that, and I cannot feel connected. I don't know why. Okay, that's fair. What why what are you pulled back on? I I just see and I say okay, this is very boring and. and but there of are. course, there, but there's no problem to be like Tarkovsky is very boring a lot of times too, and it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. I think it takes a couple of watches to Jesus, get What the hell are you guys talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are very All right. cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, do, do you see last time? Sorry, I'm just like, I don't want to edit. <laughs> uh, tell me, tell me back, which moves back. you like, Adam, please. <laughs> Which kind? At least some. Which kind? Yes. Sometimes I like movies that are thought provoking. Sometimes I like. Uh, tell me, great tell movies, me maybe. like ho some horror movie that might be intelligent. I don't know. I don't actually like them. Yeah. But I sit through them sometimes. Uh, something like. I don't know. I don't have the relationship with movies that I used to. Oh yeah. So I don't really watch movies nowadays. Uh, I'm just. I was. I would watch them before, and I would just kind of zone out, and I would use them as tools to dissociate, and kind of just unplug from my life. 
Oh, okay. So it was like, uh, I didn't bother to remember anyone's names. I watched movies and, and TV shows like a heroin addict would shoot drugs into their veins. It was just like, I'm here to escape. Okay. I don't owe these directors any space in my memory. For? <laughs> and, and so, so it's like, it, I mean, I fully admit that. Like, that's probably not the, the best way to no, <laughs> absorb that. those. <laughs> but that's definitely what my use was for them. It was just pure, um, yeah, pure uh, dissociation. But when you have free time, what do you like to do? Uh, work on this podcast. No, no, not not work, not work. Uh, not painting. I like to go on long walks. No, oh, that's nice. I like to socialize. Uh, I like to do life drawing. It's something I don't do very much in lately, but that's an example, I guess. Uh, things like that. Socializing has been very helpful for me. You okay. Uh, almost done. These beards, you too. Yes, this is... <laughs> I, I totally agree. It's terrible to paint beards. I'm working on it. Yes, there's, but it's... There are some cool colors. So, I'm enjoying it. Yeah? I, I don't like to paint bird face. You don't, yeah, you don't get most of your features. Mm. And I said so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then... Uh, that's a hard question for me to answer. It shouldn't be hard, it should be simple. And I think that I watch so much stuff as like trash, as junk food. It'll be like, um, I'll watch a Marvel movie just because I, like I said, I want to zone out and be like, ah, I don't want to think about my responsibilities. So I'm just gonna just try to enjoy this like I enjoyed it when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I find most art house or, you know, intentionally smart movies mm. um, a lot of the times when I'm in that mental state, I find them hard to get through. Uh, but I mean, other times I really enjoy that kind of movie. Like I, I could not stand the lighthouse. It was the most pretentious piece. Oh, of I hate that too. It but you like? Most, I remember that you like. Oh my God! It's the masturbation. I could, I could even oh, stand imagine. by it. It's, oh. It was a good movie. I, could, I couldn't imagine a more pretentious movie. <laughs> I agree totally. Think now, now, yeah. now we're this movie. Oh my God! Yeah. That's with both of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Like it, what you want. I mean, there's obviously something I'm not seeing. You know. No, 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 there, there is nothing. That's there. correct. No, yeah. 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 There's nothing. Like I'll take that. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. I'm right. Yes, <laughs> totally. My opinion is right. Yes. <laughs> well, that was a difficult one. That was, that's a strange one. Oh, my. And I like William Dafoe, but he only yeah, do great. like bad moves if you, if well, you see his career. Well, I mean, the, the movie was good to me only in that his acting was so exceptional that he's like not even human. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's such a good actor that it was just a vulgar display of like, prowess or something. It just didn't feel right. I don't know. But if I were someone who went to the theater to see more play, stage plays and things, it would make perfect sense, I'm sure. But. I'm not used to consuming that kind of thing, so it just kind of felt strange and like I shouldn't be watching this. This is lasting way too long. I cannot believe this is still going. It was like this, this show. Mm -hmm. It was like an extended play of, uh, of the Twilight Zone or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I, I feel you. It definitely had like that play-like quality. Like, yeah, it's really not did. a movie, it's, it's theater, for sure. something else. 
Yeah. Do you like to watch uh, Melancholia? Melancholia? Yeah. By, yeah, by I like that a lot. No? I only like oh, the yeah. first 10 minutes. Yeah, that, it was it was an okay movie. I think we're about done, guys. Yeah? yeah. Oh, that's nice. Now is the moment. Yeah. Great. Can we? It's been six hours, okay. so that's <laughs> usually where I cut this out. Uh, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, so what we do now is uh, I come and take your seat and then you take where I'm standing. Cool. Which one do we want to switch to? How about that one? And then that. Trevor, I will take your seat. And you guys can come around. Oh, you? great. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> everything, it's very playful. You see, like everything is 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 interacting in, in, uh -huh. in a very playful way. Mm -hmm. That's a wide uh, hand job. Oh my. And these colors that you... I, I tried, use. I really try as much as I can, as much as I can get away with to using one brush. Uh, it's really rare that I try to use a second brush. Oh yeah? Yeah. So I try to use only one. Yeah, it seems like to be working. I'm sure I'm going to switch that up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want for there to be some technique that you, that's, you know, yeah. That's that I developed specifically for the show and only for the show. It's like a everything, look, every painting looks exactly the same. I would like to use uglier brushes, you know, and fan brushes, and um, I'll experiment. Time, time will allow for that. But it's not only the brush that make the painting. So it's just a no. part of. Yeah. Thing. Yes, you can use the same brush, the same color, and become right. another different. Right. Yeah. Painting. Yes. Being blind as hell too helps to actually like I can really see it as well. Like you really capture the glass as well. Yeah, I tried to do something there uh, that I didn't completely show like, your eyes. Like the forms are really well intact. I really like like when you use like a yellow walker with very bright colors. The yellow becomes a, a goldish color that yeah. is so beautiful. Yeah. And it's so weird uh, to use. This is the only way that becomes that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like to do a less saturated uh, painting soon. A what? For the sh a less saturated oh, okay. painting soon, like the one that you did today. That's so that's so nice to see. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, me too. Same. I like that it's not too green, you see, because green for me is the most three colors in the world. Yeah, I don't like it. It's always true to, to take your eyes and, and you cannot see anything, just the green. It's, it's tough, yeah. Mm -hmm. And here you put like a lot of green, but I, I just see the relationship with the heads mm -hmm. and becoming very, uh, uh, very fresh palette. And it's really to create a so fresh palette with so much yellow, because yellow is not like a fresh color that mm -hmm. you can blend easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. I really don't care if people don't want to talk uh, about painting in the, this thing because I'm, I'm not engaged. <laughs> no, it's just, well, this is where we talk about painting. We're talking about technique during the episodes. I just, uh, um, I don't find us doing it really. Sure, quite. sure. I, I, I understand totally. I don't, we, don't, we don't typically do it. Um, if it were, I don't know, if it were for some purpose where we could say this relates to life in this way. But otherwise, I feel like that conversation typically just goes to the ego. It's like chalked up to, I understand. to the ego. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the best way to approach it. I think it's very good that you have a light blind you a little bit. Sure, because yeah. you will you will be struggling with all the colors. Yeah, I don't even think about it, but yeah, yes, but it does help. Yeah. Yes. The stranger the light when I'm working on this show so far. The, you have the, to the put more on it. Yes. It's really cool. Yeah.
Do you think about paint the scenario here or not? Uh, I will photograph it and I should at least do a study, maybe a, a, a drawing, you know, it, it would be stupid not to. Yes. Like you are talking about to do without something more moody. It will be very, I'm, I'm curious to see how is it work with muddy colors on the ship. Because it's a strong composition too with uh, without colors. There's a lot of Sweet, shapes. And, so amazing. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Alright, man, it's very nice. Alright. I, yeah, I want well, to well. see the painting too in another place with uh, with all the lights so we can yeah. Yeah, we will. Uh, so do you want to see us off? Do you want to say goodbye? To the people. Of course, where 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 I have to look? I uh, you look into that camera and just okay. say whatever you'd like to them, whatever you want them to hear, whatever you think they need. Your time to to shine. I have nothing to say. Come on. I'm I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez, it's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it was great, man. Seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm quite happy to be with you and you. Yeah. And Alan, that's is is it? No, it's here. What's up? I I think I am <laughs> happy to have you guys. Yeah. I'm I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah. Awkward, Thanks for awkward, that. awkward goodbye, guys. Thanks. Yes. Thanks for <laughs> Thanks for putting this together. Valeu, galera. Até mais. Hey, don't uh, mention it. We're good, we're good crew. <laughs> nice. Uh, peace, peace be with you. you. <laughs> <laughs>